How about this weather today, huh? All right. Well, uh, my job is to recognize and thank some folks that have made this possible. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you all representing the entire community. Uh, Como, Poo Como Pool had to close four years ago because we could no longer safely operate it. And the community really rallied around planning and conversation about what we needed to do to replace it. I participated in that process firsthand. And I will tell you that the community made this better. So thank you so much, all the community that helped with this process. I also want to specifically acknowledge and thank uh, our professional staff and design team that worked with the community, uh, representing them. Uh, Brian Murphy is over here from our staff, and Tom Schaefer with US Aquatics. Thank you guys so much. The, the uh, Como Pool and our pools are a very important part of our recreational program. I think the attendance here speaks for itself. Uh, no one recognizes that more than my boss, who I'm, I'm going to introduce right now. Uh, when the pools were closed and we could not get it done through our regular process, uh, Mayor Chris Coleman uh, encouraged us strongly to do whatever we could to be creative and find ways, different ways to be able to bring this pool back online and to upgrade the pool over at Highland Park. So please uh, welcome to the podium St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman. Thanks, Mike. All right, a little, a little quiz here. Who wants to hear a bunch of long, really long speeches? One, two. Who wants to go in the pool? Okay, I, I thought I heard people want long speeches. That's, uh, uh, this is fantastic. First of all, what an absolutely gorgeous day to be able to open up this pool. Officially, it's been kind of a soft opening for the last couple of weeks. It's already been uh, become one of the most popular attractions in the city of St. Paul. The kids love it, the families love it, it's really wonderful. But it is a, about partnership, it is about all the folks that have made this happen. Uh, we have some great folks here that have been champions of St. Paul for a long time. We have former Mayor George Latimer, uh, who uh, is out with us this afternoon, this morning. We have uh, Council Member, former Council Member Lee Helgen, who was one of the real champions of this project, did a great job with us, thanks Lee. We have Commissioner Rettman that uh, has been a champion of the Como Park uh, complex for many, many years, uh, both as a city council person and as a commissioner. But this is a joint effort. It's, uh, it's an amazing thing. But to me, what this represents is you can never stop investing in your community. It would have been real easy for us to try to uh, duct tape that old facility together, but quite frankly, it got to the point where that was no longer feasible. It would have been easy for us to say, you know what, these aren't the times uh, to, to invest in something like this because they're just, you know, we don't have enough money and times are tight. But I can see by the faces of the kids, I can see by all of you that are here, this is a absolutely important investment in the future of the city of St. Paul. It's why we love our city. It's why we love the Como campus. Thank you all so much for su your support. Thank you all, all the staff that made this possible. One of the folks that's been a great partner for us on so many different pieces of uh, helping us build the Como campus is our state representative, Alice Hausman. Alice, why don't you say a few words? So I come from state government, and whenever we make our case for the Como Zoo, for the Como Conservatory, for the state to partner with us, we always tell our colleagues how many people come from all over the state and from all over this region, and that's why the state partners. But I hope we're forgiven if today we just focus on this neighborhood, this community, and the kids who live here. That's ultimately why we're committed on a day like this to celebrate uh, that ribbon cutting. Thanks so much for being here. Enjoy. I'm, um, I'm joined by my colleague from the Senate, Senator McGuire. Thanks, Al Thanks, Alice, and I'm just here to say how excited I am. This is the pool, the pool, the other pool, the old pool, is the pool where I learned to swim and where I grew up, and we were family members and always came here every hot day, and I swam in this, that pool till the very last day. I do lap swimming, so I am super excited that we get to lap swim in this one now, and it's great to see everybody here and enjoy this wonderful day. And I'm going to introduce our council member, Amy Brenmullen. Everybody, we're getting really close to the end of this program. I just wanted to say hi. Um, we, I, um, 
I got to have a sneak preview of this of this pool facility a while back with the the people, the Como Pool Task Force, and got to just really kind of get a preview of it. And it was wonderful to look at their faces and the pride they had at the work that they did. Because look at this place; it is absolutely phenomenal. Who agrees? <laughs> Looks really good, and there's not, been nothing but rave reviews in the paper and in the community. But some of the things that are really fabulous about Como Pool are things that you can't see, like the solar panels that heat the hot water for the um, showers and the concession area, and things you can't smell, like chlorine, because of the moss filtration system. So it's wonderful. There's great innovations here, too. So I imagine this is going to be a wonderful place for the community to gather for years to come, and I'm looking forward to doing that with you. Thank you. And I think we're going to hear from Mike Hom. All right. All, right. All right, we're getting close. We're about ready to cut the ribbon. I uh, want council member, former council member Helgen to come up and join us for that. And uh, I don't know, Latimer, you want to come up and join us for that? We need a giant countdown from 10, 10, 9, 